Hello citizens, I'm Chef Pickle. It is 8.17 in the p.m. It is 8, 18? 19 in the p.m. And today I have eaten one half of a bowl of cereal with almond milk, one turkey sandwich with spinach and sharp white cheddar cheese. I feel like I had something else to eat today. This is my, okay, second glass of wine today. Marked absence of wine because I'm on antibiotics, so I'm relatively sober and this could be a complete disaster because I don't think I've ever done this show this sober. Nevertheless, I'm hungry. So am I gonna cook something for myself tonight? Like shrimp and grits? No! Tonight I'm cooking for my fucking dog. dumb stories. <laughs> Hi citizens, welcome to Cooking for My Fucking Dog, the show where I take human food, make it dog friendly, and then feed it back into humans. It's very meta. Um, today we're going to be making shepherd's pie. Now the first shepherd's pie was made aboard the Normandy by Commander Shepard in 2183 when he ran out of food and had to make mincemeat out of those weird metallic alien things. That's not true at all, but if you doubt me, go ahead and Google it yourself, citizen. It's not that kind of show. I don't care about the history of it. I imagine it probably has something to do with like shepherds or maybe sheep. And beyond that, I don't really care. My shepherd's pie, which is something I keep in my tool belt because it's pretty easy to make. You can use one pan or cast iron and do it relatively quickly involves meat, ground meat, and spiced with like a sweet and potent garlicky, salty, sometimes a little bit of red pepper, fire, a layer of whirly peas, and then a layer of mashed potatoes with garlic and onion maybe a little bit of cheese in it. So what do I have to change to make it dog friendly? Well, the meat is the same, obviously. The spices are gonna be problematic. Clove is out, allspice is out, Old Bay is out, which I don't even have any that I found out last night when I tried to make shrimp and grits and found out that we were completely out of it somehow. No garlic, no onion, no hot fire, really no salt. So we're basically just back to plain meat. What you can have is parsley, ginger, cinnamon. I've boiled some corn and I'm gonna cut it off the cob and I'm gonna put it in the meat while I'm sort of browning it. And hopefully that will impart a little bit of sweetness and they might like kind of kernel up and get crunchy and chewy sort of and maybe sort of a uh, garlicky mouthfeel Speaking of, you want to see a corn trick? Whoop. Try to buy it with the little taily thing on. Don't open it and try to feel like are the top ones sort of burnt out or fungus. They are. Save yourself some time. and It'll make it easier for you to peel it later. Each corn silk is connected to one kernel of corn. So they go all the way down. What you want to do is grab all of them at once. Am I on screen there? all of them at once and just pull away from you and don't let go until you get on all the way to the bottom. And then pretty much that whole side of silk comes off on your hand. Leave a little bit of a nub on the other side, grab it at the top, pull down, and then more or less, that's all of the silk. Fucking silk flying everywhere to illustrate my point. I'm going to use sweet potatoes because when he, he can have mashed potatoes. Dogs can have potatoes for the most part. But when we give him his regular food, which is a, a damn sight less fancy than this, let me tell you, it's usually just like boiled chicken, green beans, rice, and pumpkin. Pumpkin is the binder. It's good for them to have a little bit of fiber. I realized that of all of the ones that we've done 
uh, on the show before, I haven't really had a lot of fiber in there. And I've sort of been paying for it the next day when it's time for Tech Toki out. Plus, we all need more fiber. I've got some mise en place to do, so I'll catch you guys on the other side of the jump. Sorry for speaking sharply. All right, a little trick about beef, ground beef, especially if you're browning it. A lot of people put it in there and start messing around with it immediately. You want to kind of think of it almost like a steak and have sides to it. You can mix it up later, but I just put it down and let it sit here and char for about, I don't know, what was that, Jim, like 10 minutes? And it'll give you a little bit of crust on the other side. Then you flip it over in sections. Look at that. Oh, you like that, Toki? Toki just woke up. I can already tell just by smelling it that this is going to be a little sweet. So, I'm going to take my potatoes and I'm going to mix. Let's do like three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Just to cut the sweetness, give it a little bit of a toe funk, which is probably not the best way to describe something that I'm about to make people eat. Hey, toe funk. I'm adding toe funk. I found my Tweety Bird spoon. Jeremy, I found my Tweety Bird spoon. All right, we're gonna give this a little bit more time and then do a little uh, buildy montage. Lean cuisine bullshit. I don't even know why it's in my house. Well, shepherd's pie. <laughs> That's so, so goddamn funny. <laughs> so shepherd's pie is a thing that I have in my tool belt. It's great for uh, late night, like drunk nights. I think I do it pretty well. There is people in my life, and it takes a lot for me to admit this, that do things better than me. And one of those people and one of those things is make shepherd's pie better than me and that person his name is Mike Jones Mike Jones so I thought who better to have on the show than the person who I think makes shepherd's pie better than me than Mike Jones I'll tell you who's better is his wife 
Abby Jones, welcome. So you're going to be an even more impartial judge. And the most Irish looking <laughs> Italian person, Florida boy that I know, Jeremy Groovy. Thank you guys for coming. Of course. Both of you have are aware of Shepherd's Pie, right? You've right. had it before. Both probably here. Uh, James, you have probably not ever had Mike Jones's no. Shepherd's Pie, but you will. But have you had Shepherd's Pie before? I thought I had, but apparently I had. not What was it in a pie I, crust? I've had, yeah, it was okay. something, same ingredients. But in a pie crust. But in a pie crust, yeah. yeah. I think the definitive mm -hmm. recipe, there's no crust. You have definitely had mine mm -hmm. and Mike Jones's. Mm -hmm. Which one of ours do you like better? I like Heather's. Heather does make a good <laughs> fucking shepherd's <laughs> pie. <laughs> she makes it in a casserole dish, though. Mm-hmm. So does mine. Does he? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to leave you guys with this. You're going to have to share. I guess, lady and gentlemen, have at it. Actually, I'm just going to stand here and watch you guys. So you really like it. Really? <laughs> I like the sweet potatoes. Mm hmm I like it instead of regular mashed potatoes. I like the complexity of it. And I'll tell you peas are one of my most hated foods. Me too. Whirly peas. These are whirly peas. Yeah, I can't even taste them in here. Yeah, this is the only thing. Peas, you know, peas in, in shepherd's pie and fried rice is pretty much the only way I can even... Whatever. I'm not sure what the origin of the word whirly peas is. But I'm pretty sure that's Irish too, because that's what the old people would call it. You two both just look like you found out that stripper poles spin with the stripper and that they don't strip around them. It's probably pretty accurate. This is surprisingly edible. I thought I was going to hate this a lot more than I was good. It's, it's good. The sweetest thing about it is the corn. And I was yeah. surprised by that. I thought I was going to eat the sweet potatoes for sure. Me too. Well, I put a lot of yeast in there. Right. Ant cheese. In relation to it being an actual shepherd's pie, one to ten. I give it a six because I really like the shepherd. I like the sweet potato. Uh, if I order this a shepherd's pie, I got this. I mean, maybe a four or five. Mm -hmm. It's technically shepherd's yes. pie. Uh, for taste, as eating it, eight or nine. I mean, I would probably yeah. eat this for lunch. It comes out like a hipster shepherd's pie. Okay. So that's like an eight. Okay. So you like it yes. because it's different. Yes. How close no, is I it give to it a six actually? because okay. it, it's really, really good. And what helps it the most, like obviously the spices part of it, but what helps it the most is like that sweet potato part of it because mm -hmm. it's different. And I like that added different flavor. What about one to 10 as far as like, is it good or not? Oh, I'll give it an eight. Eight? Yeah. Fair. So I'm gonna give it a nine. Damn. I'm breaking records. <laughs> Can't stop him. <laughs> Don't want to. Uh, for dog food, yeah, I would say that 10. Yeah, right? Yeah. If it's a, I mean, no, if it's a nine food. for me and I'm like less than, we're like, oh, it's a six for a dog. Give you a piece That's of so a, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's so wrong of you. Well, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Uh, it just smells sweet to me. In retrospect, would not have done the corn. Would not have added almond milk to the sweet potatoes. And I probably would have steamed them and mashed them instead of boiling them and mashing them because that just drew out more sugar than I think needed. This is all based on me not tasting it yet. So I guess, yeah, let me have it. It's not bad. It is a little sweeter than I thought. I thought the earthiness of the parsley would sort of cut that and sort of fake the fake the garlic. I also could have just burnt the corn longer. I should have roasted the corn or just left it in the fat longer. And that would have made it a little less sweet. It's not bad though. As far as is it a shepherd's pie? I think Abby said it best. I'm like, yeah, it's a hipster's shepherd. It's a technically, it was technically shepherd's pie. It's not just because of the sweet potatoes. There's, there's no garlic, there's no fire. The spices are a little off. Taste-wise though, yeah, a couple corrections, like 
cook it a little bit longer, make it a little bit drier. I'll give it like a seven and a half. Are we doing half points? I'll just round it up to eight. Well, that's our show. If you guys have recipe ideas or comments or mean things to say about Jim, leave them below. Like and subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you on the next episode. If there is another episode. What you eating? More of this?